Mums Wizards, which is Anne Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is the beginning of my advent calendar week. I'm so excited. Today we're going to be doing a really fun calendar, which is the Hogwarts Express 24 day countdown. Wizarding World calendar. I'm very, very excited. I cannot wait to show you inside this one. I've not had any sneak peeks about what's inside. So we're going to unbox every day together in this video today. So if you want to see what is inside, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because we have got, I think, 24 very exciting things to reveal. Okay then, so here we have it. We have got the Hogwarts Express 24 day countdown Wizarding World Advent Calendar. That's a bit of a mouthful. So this calendar here is exclusive to a shop over here in England called Boots. This shop, is it sells a lot of bath products, beauty products, pharmacy products, that kind of thing. This costs £40 to purchase. It's quite a heavy calendar, but what's really cool about this one as well is when you open it on up, do, 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 do. They have designed this calendar to be reusable so you can reuse all of these little boxes once you have enjoyed this calendar this year. So I think that's a really neat thing about this calendar. It's quite thoughtful but I guess we should get on with the unboxing. Okay then, so let's get started with box number one which I cannot wait to get into. I need to be careful with these because they are reusable and I've already seen myself ripping them. Ooh. Oh, ooh, they're wrapped in individual little tissue papers. <gasps> this is very exciting. What are you? It feels quite long. It's a little lipstick. Uh, these are actually colour changing lipsticks before you're like, oh, I would never wear the shade blue. So this is the Ravenclaw lipstick and it has a little, um, it has a raven on it. They've been doing this with the Boots range. It should be an eagle, uh, unless it, to me it just looks like a raven. I'm not sure. Either way, it's got this kind of gold pattern on it and it's got little stars. Very magical. Does it smell? No, it doesn't. But when you use these, and I will show you on the back of my hand, you'll see that it's not blue in the slightest. They are tinting lipsticks, so it actually comes out as pink rather than the colour that it looks like, which... I think that's really cool. I love these. They remind me of being a kid. So that is day number one. So I'm guessing we're going to have some of these for each Hogwarts house. Right, number two is down here. Can I get you out? Okay, number two then. It does please me that everything's individually wrapped. Right, this feels a little bit bigger. It is a Gryffindor fragrance spray, which obviously pleases me. I actually really like the smells of these. I've just bought the bigger sized ones, which you would have seen in my boots haul already. So this is really cool that I have more of a travel sized one or I can gift them to friends and family. Though I don't know many Gryffindors. Um, but yes, these smell. <sighs> Divine. Yes, I love those. That's so cool to get that in an advent calendar. It's a really nice size. Pretty, pretty cool. Number three is here. It's quite a good size. Quite heavy, this one. What is it? Slytherin. This is a Slytherin body wash. Again, I've got bigger sizes of these, but these are perfect for traveling. Little, a little travel sized, um, I mean, I probably wouldn't take this if you want. These look great. They look like potions and they all have different smells depending on what the Hogwarts house is. But yeah, we've got some gold foiling on there. A little gold top as well. <gasps> so many things and we're only the third thing in. Okay, number four, which is my favourite number. It's my lucky number. It follows me around, this one. So let's see what's in here. Oh, something quite small for a large box. I think it might be another lip balm thing. Oh, <gasps> no, this is a lip gloss. I was wrong. This is like a nude lip gloss. Um, I love a good nude product. So it just says lip gloss on it. Okay, so it doesn't have any scent to it. I don't think it does not. But um, yeah, it's a very 
nice kind of subtle lip gloss this would be perfect for school not that i'm encouraging anyone to wear makeup to school but back in secondary school all the girls had lip glosses hidden in their bags and this is a perfect size and it's the perfect color because it's quite discreet um so yeah really cool number five where are you you'd oh we're in the, we're in the big box corner big box for ron we have got number five here and it's got cute little gold stars on what have we got it might be another body wash <gasps> Yes, it's a little mini shimmering bath elixir. So again, from my Boots haul, if you've not seen, they sell these in really big bottles, which are beautiful glass bottles as well with a nice stopper. So to have a mini one too, it kind of looks like Felix Felicis and these smell divine, but the gold shimmer, oh, that's so cute. Look how adorable it is. I'm gonna have to use some of these as stocking fillers for some of my magical pals, but mm, so, so, so cute. Number six then is in the top corner over here. Number six is here. So let's see. Oh, this feels like a Gringotts coin. Oh, it's a little, oh, it's a Hogwarts keyring. That's so cool. It's a little Hogwarts um, emblem. It just has a H, quite modern. That's actually really nice. I didn't know that they were gonna put such cool little accessories in here as well. I thought it was just beauty and bath products, but that's pretty cool. That's definitely going on on my keyring. Nice, I like that one. That was a nice surprise. Number seven then, let's see what's in there. I'm very excited for number 24 in the big round box. Ooh, this feels like a bath bomb. We have got a Ravenclaw coloured bath fizzer. These are quite good. I have had some of these before and they do all smell really, really nice. And they're quite strong for such a small little bath bomb. So I'm expecting a few more of these, but oh, matches my Beau Baton top. It could be a Beau Baton bath bomb, but no, it's definitely for Ravenclaw. <laughs> Number eight is down here in one of the oblong boxes. It is the Slytherin Fragrance Spray for day number eight. I can't remember what this one smells like. I think it's meant to be Juniper. It doesn't say on the smaller bottles, but I think it's Juniper and something else. Hmm, it's very nice. I know exactly who I want to give this to, so that's gonna be cool. Nine is up here at 12 o'clock. We have got another body wash. This one is for Hufflepuff. Now, if my memory serves me well, I think these might be sealed. Yes, they are. This one smells very citrusy and kind of like, hang on, I, I'm being defeated by a lid. Um, this one smells very citrusy, very happy, kind of like sunshine, orange, grapefruit, really, really nice. It's definitely one of my favorite scents and Hufflepuff is actually my second house under Gryffindor. So I do tend to use these ones quite a lot. <gasps> I like, oh my God, we've got quite the bounty going on. <gasps> Number 10 is at the bottom here. Feels like another body wash. It is! We have got the Gryffindor body wash, which is my house. I'm very pleased about that. This one's looking quite pink, but very, very cute. Again, love these little bottles. And I know that this is going to have the same scent as the Gryffindor perfume, which is chef's kiss. Delightful. Really, really love that. Now, this one has been... I've had my eye on this one because it's quite a long box, number 11. So I'm like, hmm, what if they snuck in here? Because I, I literally have no idea. I'm gonna open it from this end very carefully. Okay. Okay, kind of, it's as long as a pen, but it doesn't feel like a pen. What I, oh, cute! It's a Hermione makeup brush. Oh, yes, I've actually got a set of, um, it even says on it, actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it says here, Hermione Granger, so it does actually have her name on it. That's so cool, and the bristles do feel quite nice. That's so cool. I, again, didn't know that they had little makeup brushes or anything inside this calendar but I guess it makes sense because it is a beauty calendar as well. I really like that, it's very nice. After 11 comes 12, yes, I can count. Let's have a look what's in box number 12. 
It's the Hufflepuff lip balm, the lip tint. So it's yellow, but it will be pink when you put it onto your lips. And it has a little badger emblem on there with some golden stars. I think that's really, really cute. And again, perfect size for a handbag if you're out and you don't have any lip products on you and you're like, ah, I need something that just a little bit of color, tiny little bit of color. And it's like, bam, they're there. Number 13, which a lot of people think is an unlucky number, but I think it's classed as a lucky number in certain places. Either way, I don't mind it. We've got another bath bomb. What house is it going to be? Is it going to be Slytherin? There you go. A little Slytherin bath fizzer, which can go... I'm going to have so many tiny little bath bombs. I quite like the little ones when you don't want a full shebang. Number 14 is here. I think we're over halfway through now. Ravenclaw. We have got a Ravenclaw body wash. Again, super cute. Same as the others, just in a different scent, different colour and a different label. Very, very nice. Perfect for travelling. Let's see what's in number 15. I think it might be another bath bomb. I was right. Come on, Gryffindor. <gasps> yes! We love a Gryffindor bath bomb. So there we have it, another bath fizzer, and they come nicely protected so that they don't get crushed or anything in the calendar. Number 16. Ooh. Squishy. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> is it a makeup sponge? I think it is. I think it's a beauty blender that's in the shape of Harry Potter's lightning bolt. So you can just be like, hmm, just doing my foundation with my magical sponge. Um, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know these existed. So I think that's really smart that they've put those in. I guess it could just be like a little stress toy if you're not into makeup or anything. But yeah, little tiny makeup sponge. Cute. Number 17 is right down here at the bottom. Ooh, are there going to be another fragrance? Yes, the Hufflepuff fragrance. Again, I mentioned earlier, it's one of my favourite scents. So I'm definitely going to use this one, keep it in handbags. Very, very nice. I just love that they've done magical fragrances this year because it's the first time that they've done them. Number 18 is a very fun shape. It's like a little corner shape. Uh, I don't know how to open this one. It's another lip tint. I can feel it. So this is the one that I was waiting for, which is of course the Gryffindor one, which is red, but will still be pink. They're all the same color, but it's got the little lion emblem on the front right there, but it looks more traditional lipstick because it is the color of Gryffindor, which is a nice crimson color. I've only got one more of those lipsticks to collect and that is Slytherin. Okay, number 19. Could it be the Hufflepuff bath fizzer? Yes. I'm really good at guessing where they've put these. Oh, no, it's a golden snitch bath fizzer. Oh my goodness. I actually had the full size. I think I might still have the full sized one of this unless I've used it already, but they did full. I think they do have these in their current range as well. They've got a giant one and they're really cool. They're just so, so golden as you would expect from a golden snitch. It looks like molten gold and it's been formed in the shape of a little snitch body as well. I think that's super, super cute. Wasn't expecting that. I was thinking it was the Hufflepuff one and we were done. 2020 2020 is over here. So we've got five more things to go. Let's see what's inside. This has to be the Hufflepuff bath bomb. There you go. A little Hufflepuff ba bath fizzer in a nice yellow for, for the Badger Club. Yeah, so we've got all the bath fizzers now, unless they're going to surprise me with another one, but do have all of them down there. 21. What are we missing? We're missing a Ravenclaw fragrance and a Slytherin lip product. So I don't know what anything else is, because I think we have everything else. Yeah, there you go. We have found the Ravenclaw fragrance spray. I just love Ravenclaw colours. I think they're one of my favourite house colours, to be fair. So if you're Ravenclaw, I'm uh, 
very very jealous indeed um what do you smell like just niceness they're all very pleasant i've just realized i've just got spray all over these boxes <laughs> right where were we number 22 is one of these corner boxes i think this might be the final <gasps> lip tint which is Slytherin and it has the serpent on the front. I just think these are really cute. They just look really nice and golden. They look quite luxurious. <laughs> okay, so we have the full set of those, yet we still have two items left and one of them's the big finale in the middle. So we've got 23, which is up here in one of the tiny top boxes. I have no clue what that is. No way! A little tiny Hogwarts shimmery eyeshadow. That's so cute. Oh my god, let's open it on up. I think it's one of the kind of balm eyeshadows. So when you do that, it's very subtle. Very, very, very subtle. It's kind of just like a little bit glitzy, a little bit highlighty. But super cute packaging. Can we talk about that? That's adorable. That's so, so cute. I love this little silhouette and the moon. Wasn't expecting that. That's not bad for the second to last item. Speaking of which, we are now the finale, which is the middle. Da -da -da -da. Okay, does anyone have any guesses to what could be inside here? Because personally, I have no idea. It feels quite light. I don't know. Let's try and open this without damaging the box. Hmm. Ha! That's cute. It's a little, it's a little eye mask that you can, I'm not going to put it on. It's going to ruin my face, but it's Harry Potter's glasses that you can sleep in. That's so adorable. I think they did um, Luna Lovegood versions of these, but it has like a little gold lightning bolt there. I like the colour scheme of it actually. I think that's really sweet and that's quite a nice full sized item to end on. So that everybody is all of the stuff from this calendar. And honestly, you get quite the bounty of things over the month period if you were to get this calendar for Christmas. I think it's definitely worth the money to get some really good sized fragrances as well as some nicely sized travel things too as well as loads of bath fizzers i just think it's really fun and i really enjoyed it i love all of the smells that they've incorporated into this collection and yeah it was just a really nice calendar if you are interested in this calendar i will leave the link down below so that you can go check it out for yourselves or maybe you'd like to gift it to one of your witch or wizard friends or maybe a muggle they would probably like it for uh, a nice <laughs> advent calendar in December but yeah overall I think this was a really strong calendar it was one that I was really looking forward to this year and yeah it hit all the the boxes it had good scents it had a good variety of products bath and beauty as well and it had a nice few surprises along the way like the makeup brush and the little keychain as well as well as the eyeshadow as well that was really unexpected for me but yeah i hope you enjoyed this calendar let me know what calendars you want to see next maybe they'll be coming up this week who knows stay tuned subscribe because there's a lot more calendars coming up this week so I will see you tomorrow. Bye.